Gerard has it safely now in six straight games. Dyson hits this one hard down the line, and that ball's gone. It's a laid-off homer for Gerard Dyson, and one batter in. The D-backs grab the early lead. How about that? I guess Hoffman is still getting hit hard. Instant offense, the leadoff man, Gerard Dyson. The D-backs have another base run. Christian Walker batting 263. He's got 20 homers. Walker swings and clubs one to deep right field. Blackman back. He's to the fence. It is off the top of the wall and gone. Opposite field, two-run home run for Christian Walker. He points to the bullpen. They point back, and the D-backs lead 3-0. Here's Nick Ahmed, 3-0 D-backs. Nick swings and hits it up the alley in right center field. On the move, Daza looks up. It is out of here. Into the D-backs bullpen and opposite field. Two-run home run for Nick Ahmed. 5 nothing D-backs in the... Well, we get to the bottom of the first inning. Zach Gallon going out on the mound for the Diamondbacks. Two and three. He's made eight starts. An ERA of a 2-4-0, a 1-1-4 whip. Fastball, cut fastball, curveball, and a changeup. And Gallon gets a swing and a miss. Sticking with the curveball, his first strikeout. This ball well hit center field, got a chance, way back, and gone. No, caught at the wall, man. It's the second out. Blackman's still there at second base. Got to get down, it will. Blackman around third, throw to the plate is not going to get it. But Murphy comes through with two outs. 60-second RBI, and it's 5-1. to one. The one two has a swings and misses on a changeup down and in, and the inning is over. Colorado gets a run, but they leave them loaded. We played one, D backs five, Colorado one. Yeah, now you got the pitcher on. Flip the lineup over. Here we go again. That is lined to right field. Blackman looking up, and Peralta sends one out of here. The D backs already with four home runs tonight, and they lead it 7 1. 55 RBIs, 265 batting average. Pitch is hit into center field. A late start by Daza coming on. Slides and makes the catch. Did not get a good jump, but recovered very nicely. I'm uh, with Parker the Snow Dog. <laughs> <laughs> Parker's been overserved. <laughs> a little bit too much water out of the dish behind me. <laughs> But Parker, you can find him. He's a snow dog. He saves people up in Vail. Um, I'm not going to mess with him. He looks like he needs a little bit more water. Parker's got his head turned away from you. He thinks you're weird. This is how Von Miller treated me, too. He's yeah. wearing the Von Miller jersey, <laughs> so it's you, part of the course. I think Spilly might be the only one to actually get on the ground with the dog like that. The best night of the year is a major league call up and bark at the park. I'm hanging out with a 197 pound chihuahua by the name of Ducky. Now you've seen dogs like this in movies like Turner and Hooch, The Sandlot. And what I learned about chihuahuas, they originated in Mexico and they can live forever. And so Ducky is several years old and very good at eating hot dogs. He looks like he, he, he was lathering up your arm maybe to take a, a chew on it. Two, two. To no go, bounces one through the right side. That's get the baseball. I think that's his first career. Yes, knock. it is. He only had three at bats. Base is loaded here. One out. Here's the 0-2. And that ball's in the air to deep right field. Rojas will make the catch. Tinoco will score on the sack fly. Charlie will go second to third. It's seven to two. RBI number 88. Uh, has come to Bark in the Park. And you can see the stakeout paw right behind me. Fantastic dog. What's really cool about Bark in the Park is you get a chance to bring your dog, their child, Navy, and their other daughter, Tilly, and you get a whole family reunion. I think what they tried to do is find guys with good fastballs that they could command. Bouncer to third, diving stop by Lamb. From his knee, throws to first in time to get Daza two outs. Big nice play. play by Jake Lamb. Yeah, big play there by Lamb. He fell down, he was caught the ball, and then he got it out of his glove and really couldn't set himself or anything. He just kind of threw the ball laying down, and I mean just, just kind of tossed it over there, but it was right on the money to Walker. And that ball had popped out, and, and he had to barehand it, and he got the handle immediately, and a strong throw. 
And I think in this case, I might look like Tonka. <laughs> Can you see Tonka right now? Yeah, but Tonka's more attractive to the attracted I'm to the dog on the no, right. I'm pretty sure I look like Tonka. I look like Tonka. Now, I, honestly, that's a strike, you. there's on, a striking I, resemblance. Hold on, real quick. What is the uh, <laughs> around the neck? Is that a, a baseball? <laughs> Yeah, it's it's a baseball. Uh, First of all, it's, Huey, those are called collars. I know, <laughs> it's a okay. collar. Well, I found another Chihuahua. This one is an 18-month-old Chihuahua by the name of Titan. <laughs> Can you hear him? Yeah. Set and pitch. And Ahmed lines it into right field. That'll get down for a base hit. Lamb will score. Rojas is trucking to third. The throw is not in time as it's dropped by Arenado. RBI single for Ahmed, 8-2 D-backs. And there it is, the 1-2, punched into right. Rolas is home, make it 9-2, and Ahmed hustles into third. Here's hopefully the beginning of the long payoff. Yes. Get his feet wet the last six, seven weeks of the season. This ball crushed deep right center field. Get out of here. Take your time. Enjoy it. Four. Get it, boy. I got goosebumps watching that happen. Walk Tapia. Pitch. Swinging a fly ball to center. Pretty well hit. Dyson going back. He's got it. D backs win. Just shy of the track. Dyson hauls it in. The D backs beat the Colorado Rockies tonight, 9 to 3.